We're going to start first by modifying our shifter and the beginning of this video is going to pertain to the X01, X1 and GX shifters. Um, the tools that you'll need to do this are the T25 Torx tool, 2.5, 3 and 4 millimeter Allen wrenches. Um, the parts that you'll need are the GX shifter ratchet and spool, the pivot bolt, washer and then this tool which we call the claw. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is release the tension in the spring if there is any. Okay, and now we're good to remove the cover with the three millimeter Allen. Pull this bolt. Set the bolt and the cover aside. And now we're going to flip this shifter over. And this is where you can first see these bolts right here. This is sort of holding the whole shifter together and you'll see that the claw actually matches up with those three bolts. Now on the X01 shifters, you can actually remove the lever and you're gonna have to because this bolt interferes with the claw and that becomes a problem later. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove this lever now. Okay, now you can see that the claw matches up with the bolts, free of any obstruction, and we can take our 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench and pull these bolts. So when you're removing these bolts, make sure that you are pinching the shifter body with your hand to keep everything from coming apart, and set these bolts aside somewhere where you can reach them, because we're about to reinstall them. Now flip the shifter body over. We're going to remove this plastic cover. Set that aside. Now we've exposed the internals of the shifter. So as you can see, I'm holding this shifter together because the bolts are removed. And now we're going to place the claw over the bolt holes and reinstall the bolts into the claw. So the claw basically holds everything together while we swap out the spool here in a little bit. And you don't have to torque these bolts at all. You can just sort of thread them in until they bottom out. One of these bolts is shorter than the other and the short one will go through this hole that's completely covered with metal here. As you can see, the uh, other holes with the longer screws go in don't actually go through any of the metal. So that's a good way to keep track of which goes where. Okay, now we have the claw successfully installed and we can remove the spring. To expose the spool. Okay, so now we're going to unscrew the pivot bolt, which is this four millimeter right here. This is what keeps the uh, ratchet and spool and the rest of the shifter body together. Um, the first thing we have to do is flip the shifter over and put the T25 here in the bottom through the claw. And then we're gonna take our four millimeter, put it into the pivot bolt, Okay, so this part can be kind of tricky because there's a few bearings pressed in here on either side. So what we're gonna wanna do is, with the T25 hooked up and the four millimeter on top of the pivot bolt over here, we're gonna wanna unthread and make sure that we are watching the pivot bolt come out here on the left and applying more pressure on the right so that everything sort of moves outward toward the spool rather than uh, pushing the T25 bolt out into the claw. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. There's a little bit of knurling on this pivot bolt, so it sort of bumps as you turn, but you can just power through that. Okay, we can see the spool starting to come off. That's all good. Okay. All right, so we've got the pivot bolt here and that bearing came out, but we can just go ahead and slide that off the pivot bolt and pop it back into the spool, no problem. Okay, so set this aside if you ever wanna go back and uh, make your shifter 11 speed again, but this whole unit is going to be removed.
Okay, so now we're gonna take our E13 ratchet and spool and uh, we're going to install the washer here on the bottom. After a light greasing, everything should stick pretty easily. So the washer goes right there on the ratchet and then the E13 pivot bolt goes in through the top of the spool. Sort of thread them together like this. Make sure everything's snug and we can drop this back onto the shifter body. Notice the metal pawl in the image on the left. You're gonna need to align the window on the black plastic spool uh, with that pawl when you install it. So the image on the right, you can kind of see the metal pawl through the window. That lets you know that the spool is aligned correctly and uh, you're safe to install the pivot bolt now. Okay, there's a little bit of a technique here. You'll want this spool sort of fully clocked in the relaxed position, which is at the end of the teeth here. Uh, you're gonna need to bump this thing a little bit. This, this whole arm here sort of springs forward and everything falls into place. So, okay, that looks good. Everything's stacked. All right, now we can thread this bolt back in. Take your four millimeter and your T25. Go ahead and thread. Okay, so now the pivot bolt is secure, so we can go ahead and remove the claw. Again, that's the 2.5 millimeter Allen. All right, now when we pull this thing, we wanna be careful not to let anything come apart. Okay, and now we're good to reinstall the spring. There's a little, little lip you wanna get that inside coil over just like that. And then the bent end goes in the hole there. And then this other end should just fall right into this die cast little notch. That's fairly easy. But there's a trick when you put this internal cover back on, as you can see, you'll match up the bolt holes, but the spring needs to be pushed out. This outer coil of the spring that goes into that cast notch, it needs to get bumped out by this little plastic lip here. You can see how this outer coil sort of rides over that edge right there. That's crucial. Okay, so with this cover in place, the spring is dialed. We can flip this thing back over and fire those bolts in from the right side. We should be safe to reinstall the lever now. If you're planning to put this shifter on a bike right now, install the cable here before you put the cover back on. Give it a few test clicks. Perfect.